I suppose the first one, whenever you do something the first time and have the response from the community, like 25, 30,000 people down there, that first time was a, a very uh, sort of rewarding and pleasing moment. bring all the world champions together. It was a fantastic moment in the event. To see uh, a very young Kelly Slater come through the event and the whole aura uh, about this uh, gentleman as he came through. And it's a, it's, a, it's a great moment every year. Well, the honor roll speaks for itself to have the names of like uh, Tom Curran to win the event, then Oki, to have uh, Tom Carroll win it twice, Damien Harvey win it twice, Barton Lynch, uh, Kelly Slater and of course Mick Fanning has won it three times so multiple world champions have won this event and also the same story for the women's event where we've had multiple world champions again Wendy Bother in the first year led the charge Pam Burridge has won the event three times Steph Gilmore four-time world champion won it as well and Philippa Anderson our local girl done well but this year the girls really excelled in some great surf off Mary whether Coco Ho from Hawaii was just the eventual winner but all the girls surfing was just incredible this year especially on that final Saturday Meriwether is one of the heaviest spots you'll surf. It's got four completely different waves. It's got the rocks, the ladies, second reef and then third reef. And third reef handles like probably up to 12 feet, maybe even bigger. And it's one of the heaviest spots. And it's a heavy wave. It's one of the heaviest waves I've ever surfed in the world. And it's a scary spot on its day. And it's a great wave too. Part of the criteria of being a surfing reserve, it was the fact that you can ride at any time, any tide, any wind and any swell. There's always someone out there and I think that's the thing that's made it such a competitive breeding ground. Obviously if the swell is big, my favourite wave of Merriweather is Third Reef which is this amazing wave which sucks up sort of right out the back and peels off and it's a wave that's probably comparable to some of the best big waves in the world. with the event uh, when we had all the world champions here for the charity expression session and it was something that had never been done before. I don't know if any other event in the world had ever had an expression session where they'd actually got more than one world champion. It must have been like 20,000 people on the beach so you'd look back and it was like looking at a you know, field of football fans and then I'd look out in the water and beside me I had you know, Kelly Slater and Tom Carroll and Tom Curran and Mark Lupo and you know, looking at the beach and looking at seeing all these guys in the water in Newcastle. It was incredible. 